Take the degreased copper plate from the drying cabinet. For the application of the hard ground, we need a photo tray and a rubber glove. As hard ground, we use an acrylic floor polish. Hold the plate above the tray and pour on a liberal amount of the hard ground in one go. Distribute it quickly before it has time to harden and immediately afterwards place it in a vertical position on a newspaper to let the excess polish run off. The hard ground that has run into the photo tray may be poured back into the bottle. Move the plate a few times on the newspaper to prevent the hard ground from building up along the lower edge. A thin, even coat of hard ground is essential, as it will otherwise break up when etched. After a few minutes on the newspaper, the plate is ready to be hardened in the drying cabinet. After 10 minutes of hardening, the surface is ready to be worked. The hard ground is now as clear as glass. If you prefer a black surface, paint it over with diluted black gouache and dry it in the cabinet for another couple of minutes. Apply the black paint with a broad brush to distribute it evenly across the plate or spray it on with an airbrush. Here, half of the plate has been painted black with diluted black gouache. The black coat should be removed with lukewarm water and detergent before etching, so that it won't ruin the ferric chloride. The transparent hard ground makes it possible to add lines or hatchings to an already etched plate, as the image is visible through the hard ground. The black plate makes it easier to see what you're doing. You can work in the acrylic based hard ground in exactly the same way as in a conventional hard ground. It does however offer some obvious advantages as opposed to the traditional oil based hard ground. For instance, even the finest cross hatchings will never cause the plate to break up during the etching process. Another advantage of the acrylic based hard ground is that it's strong enough for the plate to be inked up and printed while the hard ground is still on. This makes it possible to control the depth of the etching before stripping off the hard ground. The last but not least advantage is the option of doing washings in the hard ground with a mild solution of ammonia and water. This technique opens up areas of the plate like a kind of direct lift ground. The areas can then be etched either as open bites or with an addition of aquatint. Hard ground line drawing printed with the hard ground on. The same plate printed without the hard ground. The only difference is in the plate tone. Not even the finest cross hatchings will break up during the etching process. A combination of lines and washings etched as open bites. Washing in hard ground with aquatint. Line drawing. Lines and washings with aquatint. Washing in hard ground with aquatint.